If you're alive watching this video, you can dunk. Let's go. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is dunk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Dunk Tip Tuesday. No, my heart is going up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I do it for the oh, Dunk Tip Tuesday. You know I do it for my subs. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Anyone in the world can dunk. I believe that because I believe anything is possible. But when it comes to dunking, I mean anything. Literally anything that comes as a thought in your head is a thought because it's a possible in this reality. But when it comes to dunking, it's simply just training. I've increased my vertical 14 inches. I keep hitting goals. And now my life is literally an expression of living with no limits. I push myself in every way to show myself there's no limits. And of course, I have doubts and fears. Let's get into it. Anyone can dunk. I've made videos on this. This is an updated version. This is even more. I'm going to give you ways to exceed those limits. So for those questioning if they can dunk, my question for you is why are you saying you can't and an easy one for you to notice in your mind is saying it's never been done before by somebody my height of course it's somebody short right because if they're 510 we have examples so we all believe it's possible right now the only belief that's left is somebody maybe under five feet tall but my question to you is or my awareness for you is to notice just because it hasn't been done doesn't mean it's not possible. And if that's something that I had to overcome myself, and I actually noticed that with Andy Nicholson, he was 39 at the time, eight, I was 18, he was 5'10", he went from grabbing the rim to dunking, I then knew it was possible, which then started my dunk journey. So what happened was, I believed it now because I saw it was possible, and then now I made it possible in my own reality. But what that taught me and what I learned going forward is, I don't need belief by seeing it, I can see something, meaning I can make it happen in this reality by believing it. So if it hasn't been done yet and it hasn't been seen, it hasn't been shown to be possible in this world, all you have to do is believe that it's possible and then it will be shown. So that's very spiritual, but also everything that you've ever done or attempted, it's because you believe you've done it. And now that's what's the beautiful thing about me and my dunk journey is that because I've gotten to these limits or past these limits, I've inspired others to go do it as well because, and that's what I love about my journeys. I could only touch rim. Now I've reached a 42.5. So now the old me, I would have never thought I could even dunk. When I started, dunking wasn't even a possibility. And now it's something that I've increased tremendously. So another, t another uh, side note, before I get into the ways you can exceed your limits today, David Cho, the artist, he had a great point on this. It's very different realm, but everything's an art. Training is an art. He says... He had a thought in his head that only real, true, good art, which I believe as well, or I used to, was true art can only be produced if by somebody that was in pain or going through sadness or maybe even just those type of vibrations. And now he said to himself, why can't art be made, even if there's no examples, from a positive, loving place? Of course, some art is, but he was saying great art, a lot of masterpieces, and there's a lot of examples that show that great art was made by people that were going through pain or had trauma. But he said to himself, why not be the first? So that is my question for you as a shorter dunker, an older dunker, maybe you're 50 years old, 60 years old, I don't care. I truly believe there's no limits. Why not be the first? And that question for me really fuels me with any goal that I want to do. Why not be the first to be the, uh, a dunker at, at 50 with a 40-inch vert? I don't know if that's possible, but that's an awesome goal. Why not be a dunker that can jump a 45-inch vertical but also run a marathon? Why not be the first? And of course, it comes down to do these things fill you with joy? Do these things inspire you? Follow that inspiration and keep going. Okay. Now, hey, today's episode is brought to you by Planet Fucking Earth. Free oxygen, free atmosphere, free sunlight. Why are we here? Not a clue, but we're here together and we're gonna make the most of it. You could be dead, it could be a dream, but that doesn't matter. Let's have fun. I hope you're not so scared to die that you forget to live. Hey guys, I made those paintings when I was tapping into my feminine energy. I'm back, I'm back masculine. Well, it's a balance now. That's how life goes. This one is an eye. That's how I see people when I look into their eye. It's like infinite. It's kind of scary, but also magical because it's never ending. It's a combination of everything. So when I look deep in someone's eyes long enough, I first of all see a reflection of myself, but this is what I feel when I look at someone's eyes. So painting can help me represent something I feel. 
So I hope, what do you feel? You feel something when you see that? You feel something when you look at my eye? Look deep into it, do it, I feel it. Woo! Okay, back to this co somewhat coherent episode. How do we exceed our limits? One thing that's huge, that's super underrated is tracking. Simply track where you're at, track everything, and that goes to my foundations of energy, which I have full courses on, which is sleep, nutrition, and body awareness. Those are the foundations because if you're not sleeping well, you're not eating well, and you're not acknowledging your body or learning your body every single workout, you you can't make progress. And simply put, if you're not tracking, how do you even know you're making Making progress. Ceilings are an actual great representation and a metaphor for what we're doing as jumpers. So if you're in your house, you're at home, and you're trying to touch the ceiling, the second you touch it, it's going to be hard to exceed that because one, you're going to have to jump through it, but number two, you don't even know how much higher you're going, so you have to raise that ceiling. So I encourage you to go and try to touch something out of your reach, and that is a metaphor for life. And if you, as soon as you touch that, you remind yourself, I used to not even be able to touch that point. And it's not about going from nine feet to 10 feet, it's about going from nine feet to nine foot one one inch at a time and any dream that you have, any limit you have about any aspect of your life, it's about one step at a time and they add up. The first one is making progress, tracking your progress and also make every goal of every workout to make progress. So I know I just said progress 19 times but instead of your workout to be like I'm gonna hit a new PR or I'm gonna hit this new milestone, if you make progress every single workout from, what, from all these different aspects from strength to speed to cardio to mobility to just simple body awareness where you're understanding mind muscle connection and you're able to move your patterns more correctly, all of those things are going to be beneficial in the long run of your dunk training journey. And all these journeys, they're gonna take a long time. You don't wanna just dunk once. You don't wanna just scratch the surface of your potential. You wanna reach your highest potential. So on those days where you're feeling like you did all the work, maybe it's a day to just learn your body, learn what feels tight, learn about what feels imbalanced. Just learning about your body every single day is a great mindset to have. Now, another thing off the court that's great to help these mindsets is mindfulness practices. So meditation, reading, and journaling. All of these expand your mind, and journaling is great because you start to notice your thoughts. You can work with your thoughts because if you have fears, doubts, if you have goals, whatever they are, when you write them out and talk about them with your own mind, you can see them, remember them, and start to use them. If they're all in your head, they're just gonna be circling, 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 going nowhere. Journaling is a great way to understand your mind. Meditation is a great way to uh, connect with your body, connect with your breath, so that way when you're in your workouts like me, when my adrenaline's high and I wanna just smash dunks, I can be mindful and say, I gotta work on this today if I'm thinking long term. Don't just get caught up in the adrenaline, get caught up in the hype and do things pure adrenaline. You're not doing them for what's best for your body. And I say that because of my experience, if I overtrain, it always works against me. If I do what's best for my body every single day, my progress and my mental is more at peace, I have a clearer vision of my goals, and I'm making progress, and over the long term, I've, I've gotten myself to pass these limits. That's where I learned that I've had limits, whether it's physique-wise, leanness-wise, mobility-wise, it was all limits that I set on myself, and I had to go slower, I had to understand my mind, and I had to take one step at a time to exceed this limit. And now lastly, one of the biggest flips I want you to make is see every obstacle as a challenge. So instead of seeing an obstacle of like, I, I'm too short to do this, I don't have enough time to train, I don't have enough money to uh, this gym membership, all of those things are challenges, not obstacles. And if you can do that and see it, you're gonna work harder, you're gonna be motivated, and you're gonna be in a place where, now, I was able to train this hard from home. I was able to train this hard with this little sleep. Or I was able to train this hard with a nine to five job like I was doing. And so when you do that, you're developing these muscles you didn't even know you have. So that way, you're developing the internal of resilience, determination, you're developing your patience. These are all skills that are gonna help you immensely forever, that are gonna help you along your journey in anything that you do, especially in your dunk training journey because there's ups and downs. So you can always be strengthening yourself, you can always be getting better, and using these things as a challenge will completely flip your perspective on everything you do and make you better every single day. So if you want my coaching, I have coaching in dunk training, life coaching, but I also just love helping you tap into your energy, help 
helping you find your calling and your passion. So hit me up if you want to do that. Many more videos, clone videos, energy videos, rap videos. We got a lot coming. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Share the energy. What energy are you bringing to your life today? Let's ride. I hope you're not so scared to die that you forget to live. Have a good one. You're gonna die someday. Might as well live it up. And you might get reincarnated, so that's cool. Energy is not created nor destroyed. You go into the dirt, and everybody eats dirt. Eventually, plants. You get it? Trees. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs>